One of the first things we need when we start managing our devices via Intune is an Intune tenant. And that comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes these days. It could be a Microsoft 365 tenant, it could be a Office 365 tenant, and there are also a few others. What I want to show you today is the Microsoft 365 developer program because that gives you everything you need. Now, bear in mind that this can only be used for a greenfield environment. It can't be used to apply to an existing tenant. So if you already have a Microsoft 365 tenant or an Intune tenant, this isn't going to be too useful for you. But if you don't and you want to get started, or even if you just want to create a new tenant to have a play with new features in Intune, this is how you would do it. We'll head to aka.ms slash m365 dev program and very simple to get started. We will choose join now. And like I say, if you already have a, a tenant, then you would sign in here, but then you wouldn't be able to sign up for the developer program. So in my case, what I'm going to do is start with a fresh account and we'll get that up and running. I'll just quickly run through this form now. And after a few moments, once you've finished filling all their forms out, you get a welcome message to the Microsoft 365 dev program. Let's to jump in and take a look. We'll click close. And what you can see is that the dev program entitles you to a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription, which in it essentially is Microsoft 365, EMS, Azure AD, or now Entra ID, and more. So once you choose set up E5 subscription, it will take you to the admin portal where you can take a look at the users and things that have been provisioned in the environment. Let's take a look. And once you get to the admin portal, we can see that it says finish setting up Microsoft 365 E5 to get the latest out of this product. Okay, so that's pretty much us set up with a tenant. Now let's take a look at how we can get to Intune from here. There are a few ways, but one of the ways is to choose show all and then scroll down until you see Endpoint Manager. Now Endpoint Manager is the old name for Intune. It's not been named Endpoint Manager for a fairly long time now, but you could click Endpoint Manager and it will take you to here, which says the endpoint.microsoft.com, but it refers to itself as the Microsoft Intune Admin Center. The other way to get to it is to go to intune.microsoft.com and you get to exactly the same place. My point is that you, there are a few ways to get to the Intune portal. As you can see, we're in the Intune portal and we're ready to go.